Vaccines say they can't breathe, but now after recovering from the infection, some of them say they can't think. Even people who were never sick enough to go to the hospital, much less lie in an ICU bed with a ventilator, are now reporting lasting neurological problems. Their brain just isn't clear. There's a growing consensus among doctors that as many as one in four recovering patients can suffer issues with their brain. Problems range from headache, dizziness, anxiety, depression, numb limbs, lingering loss of smell or taste, and that mental slowness some call COVID fog. Brain fog is the way a lot of people describe it, just feeling kind of foggy, like they can't concentrate very well or they're forgetting um, uh, short-term memory issues. Having trouble completing simple math in their head or struggling to find the right words to finish the thought. Dr. Leanne Silhan has treated many COVID patients and one common issue really troubles her. For a lot of these patients were actually never sick enough to need hospitalization. So that's the other kind of remarkable thing is that this is seeming to happen, at least in my experience, to people who were otherwise extremely healthy and young. The illness may be mild, but the lingering effects are serious and they stick around, sometimes for months. Dr. Silhan followed one patient for nearly seven months before she finally started to feel like herself again. So is there, um, does it just go away with time? Is there something that you can uh, prescribe to those patients to help them kind of feel more clear-headed? So far, it looks like most people are um, spontaneously recovering, although um, their symptoms may be very prolonged. No one can tell patients with neurological complications when or if they'll get better because doctors and scientists are learning more about it every day. However, there is a study out by the British Journal of Medicine issuing some guidelines, and they're pretty straightforward. A healthy diet, more sleep than you usually get. You have to stop smoking and drinking alcohol, and in some cases, rehabilitation for both your breathing and your memory.